thank you for kind introduction. Um, yeah, my uh, presentation uh, is on, on the data-driven control of the photobonding behavior of a hybrid silicon mixed with its benzene powder. Uh, so, so make change laser pointer. Okay. So um, before going to main topic, uh, I want to introduce molecular crystals, which uh, I have been I have researched mainly so far, and the possibility for future uh, actuations. And uh, the next uh, is the motivation of mixed such uh, crystalline material into polymer. And um, then I'm going to main topic, uh, fabrication and actuation of the polymer mixed with azo benzene powder. Then uh, to control the actuation behavior, I used data science in this case and regression analysis. I will explain for this. And then I summarize this presentation. Okay. First, uh, let us remember what crystals are. So the crystals is a material or state that a molecule or atoms are uh, aligned uh, periodically and re regularly. Um, crystals around us, they are, uh, are he shown here. For example, ice, salt, sugar, quartz, and so on. Um, so many, there are many crystal materials around us in, um, in daily life. And cr these crystals look, look hard and rigid and sometimes brittle. So the molecular crystal, molecular crystals, which is consisted of uh, mo organic molecules, seem to be difficult to transform or deform by external stimulus. But in, for this um, decade, uh, many papers have been published on this topic. The uh, epoch-making paper was, has been published in 2007 in in, uh, in to nature, reported by Kobatake, and such uh, crystals based on consisted of the uh, diaretin molecule can be bent can bend uh, by photo irradiation, uh, which is uh, UV light irradiation. Following this paper. Uh, many papers have been published uh, on Tarasheim crystals, azo benzene crystals, and salicylidin anilines. These crystals can exhibit um, bending behavior uh, due to photoreaction. And such new type of uh, crystal, um, this kind of crystals should be uh, a new type of actuator due to photo control is a new type of uh, stimulus. In my previous works, I uh, aimed to diversify the mechanical motion. So in this uh, left movie, I developed a crystal of a benzene crystal which, uh, oh, sorry, uh, which twisted and bent uh, simultaneously by photoisomerization. And then on the right movie, I uh, developed, um, I discovered that the molecular, molecular crystal can walk like inch one. This uh, locomotion is due to uh, bending, by, uh, which happens at phase transitions by 
heat to change, uh, temperature change. So these um, photoisomerization stimulus and uh, heat um, phase transition um, has had um, caused uh, mechanical motion, uh, diversified mechanical motion. So next um, idea was the com combining these uh, photoisomerization and phase transition. So I fort uh, fortunately I found a, a new crystal which is uh, photoreactive and can exhibit um, phase transition. Um, I don't I don't go detail in this uh, phenomena, but uh, the curiosity is the this phenomena at um, room temperature, this crystal can um, exhibit the phase transition uh, and uh, photoisomerization. So the crystal can combine these phenomena by only photoisomerization, uh, photo irradiation. So upon photo irradiation, the crystal exhibit complicated motion like this. So next is slow motion. Upon light irradiation, the crystal twists partially, but the next uh, bend simply. Then after stopping UV light, the crystal simply unbent, but uh, gradually uh, twisted, then returned to straight shape. So in this research, I developed, uh, I um, combined uh, photoisomerization and phase transition. So here, um, uh, the motivation of the molecular crystal. So here uh, I show the graph of mechanical property. The vertical axis is the damage modulus, which is elastic elastic property. Uh, so um, hard uh, above direction is hard material and um, uh, below direction is soft material. So, so uh, high Young's modulus, at high Young's modulus re region, uh, there are metals and alloys and historically they they are um, actuation materials. And uh, smaller, um, small Young's modulus, modulus regions, uh, they are polymers. Uh, molecular crystals are located between them. So in other words, the molecular crystals have not explored so far well and have potential to novel uh, type of actuators for and recently a uh, hot topic is uh, soft robots and flexible devices. These are the possible ap actual applications. So the my main topic of this presentation is the com uh, mixing um, crystalline powder into polymer. So, so the question is, the, how can we combine crystallized merit, so large force and polymers merit flexibility? So one of approach solution is to, should be uh, to mix, mix photoreactive polymer powder into polymer. The concept is like here, like this. So when, pol uh, when a pow photoreactive powder is mixed on into polymer, the uh, po such polymer can exhibit um, combined uh, behavior. So which is um, the crystal uh, powder can exhibit bendable feature and the polymer can exhibit the flexible feature. So powder is just a small uh, size of a single crystal. So then uh, I uh, fabricated such material. 
So uh, publication uh, procedure is shown here. Uh, first, uh, pure silicon. Silicon is a, a soft material, soft polymer, and uh, it was uh, cured in a mold. Then, and cured silicon uh, mixed with ace benzene powder was coated onto it. Then, uh, cured hybrid silicon was obtained. Then, um, the uh, uh, street street shape uh, silicon was cut. So uh, here, um, powder was con powder content was changed between the um, zero, zero or one, five, ten weight percent to the second layer. Um, so zero weight percent is means just pure silicon. Anyway, so uh, there I um, observed the bending, be bending behavior of the hybrid silicon. Uh, at first, um, I observed um, hybrid silicon without anything. So such polymer uh, just exhibit uh, elongate. So, but uh, upon photo irradiation, but uh, when attached to paper, uh, the hybrid silicon uh, bent upon UV light irradiation. This is um, because uh, paper layer restricted the elongation one side, but uh, the other. Uh, side in this case, irradiated surface can elongate. So, in uh, result, uh, so as a result, the hybrid silicon can bend like this. So here, uh, uh, the bending was evaluated by deflection delta. Uh, this is the time uh, dependence of the deflection. And the um, horizontal axis is time, uh, three minutes uh, irradiation, and then four minutes for uh, with, uh, without light. Then vertical axis is deflection, but uh, delta prime, uh, because dimension less deflection, uh, so the, um, by this equation, uh, delta is the real uh, value of millimeter that uh, dimensionless was used in this graph to uh, to uh, to, ev uh, to exclude the uh, high uh, a li little bit um, different size. Uh, silicon was used for the um, observation. Anyway, so uh, in this graph, uh, I obtained a deflection. Uh, for example, at a highest uh, intensity, uh, the uh, hybrid silicon bent uh, like this. And then after stopping UV light, uh, the deflection uh, returned to the initial uh, position. The uh, analysis was uh, separated, uh, separated in a photo, photo bending process and then um, uh, unbending process. So first, uh, uh, photo bending process was evaluated uh, by uh, the uh, plot uh, uh, obtained the result was uh, uh, fitted to this equation. Uh, the, this equation comes from uh, chemical reaction kinetics. Uh, so, I mean, um, I assumed uh, photo isomerization uh, propose the, the um, amount of photoisomerization uh, is proportional to the uh, deflection. So 
uh, after, as a result uh, of this splitting, uh, I obtained A and tau B. Uh, so uh, in this case, uh, the ten the sample ten percent ter, ten weight percent was used, and uh, uh, light intensity was changed uh, uh, like this. So so I obtained four values as A and four values as tau B. In the same way. Uh, Unbending process was fitted by this equation. Uh, this equation, th this equation, also comes from uh, reaction kinetics. And the, as a result of this fitting, um, the four values and um, four values of uh, tau u was obtained as the sample of the 10 weight percent. Then um, such observation and fitting procedure was uh, applied to other uh, weight powder contents. So the, uh, all these, uh, these uh, observation was uh, done. Uh, repeatedly three times, and then um, and here this um, um, slide shows the uh, summary of the uh, observation of different uh, weight uh, powder content. Uh, as a as the result of the. Uh, observations, I observe, obtained uh, tau and t, uh, a like this. So uh, I want to move to data science approach from, uh, uh, yeah, from experimental part. So now I uh, have obtained a tau b tau u as the uh, feature of bending or unbending of the hybrid silicon. So the, uh, in this research, I used uh, polynomial regression analysis. So to represent the bending feature. Then uh, effective parameter was uh, selected by ANOVA. ANOVA is analysis of variance, which is uh, effective to extract, uh, if, uh, extract effective parameter. Then finally, I uh, obtained the response surfaces of the bending. So the, um, as regression analysis, I uh, considered uh, five different models. So simply, a uh, linear, linear model is very simple. Uh, so uh, just uh, two parameters, uh, two, par two variables, x1 and uh, x2. And x1 is the, is the uh, powder content, and x2 is the uh, intensity of light. So then here, uh, x uh, to Fy means two factorial interaction means uh, another um, factor variable, x1, x2. So, so like this, uh, five different models uh, was con uh, were considered as uh, for regression. Then, uh, I show fitting summary for um, A, where A is the uh, maximum deflection. Um, so uh, as the result of fitting, uh, 
and uh, evaluation, uh, cubic model was the uh, most fitted model because uh, p value is uh, uh, p value is um, very small and uh, r, r squared uh, also oh, high. So cubic model is uh, the most fitted uh, function for A. So after uh, we, I obtained the uh, most fitted model, I uh, used uh, ANOVA for uh, fit, um, effective for extracting eff effective parameter. So uh, initially, cubic model has nine variables. So it's a little bit um, complicated to interpret, but uh, as the result of ANOVA, uh, seven variables were selected to be effective and uh, other two variables uh, was not effective uh, be, uh, based on p-value. So I, I obtained a, a, a simpler, a more simple uh, model uh, by ANOVA. Then uh, I can uh, draw response surfaces of A. Uh, so uh, one axis is percent of powder, weight percent of powder, and another axis is the intensity of UV light. And um, vertical axis is uh, A. So uh, the response houses uh, represent means um, the deflection, uh, maximum deflection increases depending on um, powder percent. And um, also uh, the uh, intensity of UV light. So here in this 3D graph, uh, red point what is what are shown. Uh, this is uh, experimental result and the fitting result uh, um, model is the surfaces is colored like this. So uh, um, the ex experimental points are and uh, 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 response houses can um, represent um, uh, can, uh, can represent response houses can obtain like this. So, and uh, the model after variable selection by NOVA was uh, written here. So in the same way, uh, I obtained obtain a model response houses of tau b and tau u, with these are time con constants for photo bending and time constant for unbending. Um, they are a little bit difficult to interpret, but uh, in, in, as to tau b, uh, the response half C was um, nonlinear leaky, nonlinear. Um, and uh, as to tau u, uh, uh, the response half C surface shows the 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 intensity of UV light is not important to the tau u because uh, this is uh, consistent with the chemical phenomena because tau u, um, which is a uh, time constant for unbending, is should be the um, phenomena after uh, after stopping UV light. So this is consistent with the uh, chemical event. So uh, as a summary, I overviewed, I firstly overviewed the development of mechanically responsible molecular crystals. And then 
I presented the deep science approach to control actuation behavior of the polymer um, mixed with ACE benzene powder. And um, I want to acknowledge uh, these fund fundings uh, for this research. And uh, I want to um, uh, said, um, I want uh, th this is, uh, I want to, uh, I can collaborate uh, on those points. I can provide uh, some data science techniques, machine learning or statistics, and some experiments as shown in the presentation. And uh, I, what I want to do as if possible, uh, if possible, uh, finite element method for analyzing the um, material uh, deformation and the theoretical calculation of uh, phase transition and deeper uh, analysis or um, uh, experiments of material dynamics. So um, contact here, uh, please contact to this email. So thank you for kind attention. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Professor Takaya. That was a wonderful presentation. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we'll see if, uh, and if, uh, if, you, if anyone have any questions or comments, please go ahead and ask Professor Takaya. Yeah, Professor Welford. Can, can I ask a question? I think in the beginning you showed the um, a crystal, uh, the um, molecular structure of these um, polymers. And uh, I, my question is, um, are these um, uh, materials also found in nature? And the second question, is there any poisonous material or can this material also be introduced into the human body? Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, these um, molecules were synthesized by an um, experiment. So they, they are not uh, a nat natural product. And uh, these, um, and so far, there has not been reported as to toxicity of, uh, of, of this of these materials. So maybe um, no, not toxic. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So. Thank you. So, uh, Professor Rosaria, you can ask directly. Or, uh, yeah, I can see your chat. And uh, you, uh, Professor Rosaria. Yeah, if you want to ask, you can ask directly, Professor Rosaria. Okay. So, uh, nice talk and nice work. Um, I have two questions. Uh, one is, um, uh, does the photoreactive powder arrange in an ordered way inside the polymer? And the second question is, uh, because maybe I... I didn't hear uh, uh, this information. How large is the strip uh, after you cut it from the stack of the hybrid silicon uh, over the silicon? So what is the size of the strip? Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, so uh, the, okay. The size of the, uh, 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 first I, Want to answer a second question? I, I, uh, uh, the silic, silic uh, the hybrid silicon uh, was cut after cutting. The size was uh, uh, here. Uh, the scale bar is five millimeter, and so the length is some um, um, forty millimeter, which uh, so four inch. Uh, so and thickness is um, one less than one millimeter like that, and so uh, the size can be control controllable by the how large a mold can be used. Uh, the mold was uh, made by three D printer, 
Uh, so the, the if uh, different shape or uh, different size uh, used, uh, the uh, uh, the obtained silicone can be the shape shape and the size can be changed depending on the mold. Yeah. The and um, I. Uh, I didn't catch the first question. Could you uh, say again? Yeah, so you uh, essentially mix this uh, photoreactive powder uh, inside the polymer. Yes. Would you expect some special arrangement uh, of this powder inside the polymer, or it is just random? Oh, uh, yeah, Ra random. I, I guess random, yeah. Okay. Thank you, thank you.